What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to talk about LTO Network. What are they doing? How are they changing the game? Guys, this project is pretty crazy. It's actually one of the most used blockchains. It's actually top 12 right now in the whole blockchain ecosystem or slash cryptocurrency ecosystem. By the way guys, I gotta make this note. We're making these videos, we're getting some views, but guys, no one's smashing up the like. You guys are brutal, man. Show me some love, smash up the like, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell notification, man. I know these videos must be super bad if I can't even get a, sim a simple like. <laughs> um, but anyways, guys, uh, thanks for tuning in. If you guys are new to Drake on Digital, we have a link in the description below to the Digi Squad. We actually actually have a couple of affiliate links as well. Yes, I get a bit of the rewards and you do as well. So it's a win-win situation. It's just a little sign-up bonus. Doesn't cost you anything. You basically get free money. It's nice. Win-win. Or if you guys want to actually give a nice donation, um, I do have a Patreon link in the description below. You guys can uh, check that out. Pop that. Whatever you want. I don't care. Or you guys can just smash up the like and give me a subscribe. I would be more appreciative of that. <laughs> um, but anyways, guys, what's LTO Network? All right, so LTO Network, straight, or straight on CoinGecko, it says, blockchain platform for creating decentralized workflow applications while maintaining data, privacy, and GDPR compliance. <laughs> what the pants is that? Guys, it's massive. I know it sounds like, what in the world is this? But let's go directly onto their website. I'm sorry, this is their timeline. Let's go and open up their website straight from here. All right, so LTO Network. Guys, well, I'm gonna do an example so you guys can see this, but it is a hybrid blockchain for securing and verifying exchanging business critical information. Okay, so why is this important? Because it's decentralizing it. So normally you can do this person to person, like, hey, let's do it on a piece of paper or whatever, but now it's on a piece of paper, so is it really secure? A second way is to do it is to hire a company like Google or store it on in a Gmail or like Google Docs and whatnot. But now there's a problem with that. Say Google doesn't want to do business with you or Facebook doesn't want to do business with you or whatever product you're using doesn't want to do business with you anymore. Well, you don't have those documents anymore. Just try to contact Facebook and say, hey, Facebook, give me my data back. They'll say, uh, yeah, that sounds good. Whatever. Uh, yeah, that, that's the reality. Now, LTO Network is allowing to have a trustless system with a smart contract that's able to be, that, that's active and live. So let me show you an example of a live smart contract. So here's an example for a lease agreement. I chose a lease agreement because, well, I'm in real estate. So this is a smart contract that you'd have. And this the reason why it's cool is because, look, you can type in on here and it adds to the contract. So instead, like in blockchain, you have a contract that you, it can't be changed. This is immutable. This is what it is. Instead, this is a contract that you can add names, different information on it. It's, it's able to be edited. So it's pretty awesome. And since I'm on this page, I uh, just close it out. This is a GitHub. It's not crazy active, but hey, it's a GitHub. They're, they're making changes on it. Not too bad. And uh, also, this is the Explorer just showing their transactions. Look at this, guys. It's crazy. 80,000, 60,000, 100,000, 120,000, massive. Okay, I know you're looking at this and like saying what's wrong. Well, I'm shooting this video when it, it's like two in the morning. <laughs> um, but anyways, guys, this, this is when I get time to make videos. You're gonna have to take it how it is. Uh, I barely get time to sleep, man. I'm trying to make these videos for you guys. Speaking of that, smash the like, subscribe to the channel, man. Anyways, who cares? Let's go and get into LTO. So these guys have some crazy partnerships, but this is how you can use LTO network. First, you can use it as, as anchoring, so you can protect data through fast immutable timestamps. And with this, you're gonna be making transactions with the LTO token. That is what the use case is. There's also some other use cases, but I'll get into it some more. You can also use it to identify your business on chain by giving a public certificate. So they are integrating with other blockchains as well, and I'll be making a video on that later. Make sure you guys like and subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification. That way you guys are notified when it comes out because the next one we're gonna be doing it on is also a super, super small cap 
and it is a gem, guys. It is smaller than this one, but hey, stay tuned. Verifiable credentials. Issue accreditations using the W3C DID and verifiable credential standard. I really don't know exactly what that standard is, but I do know verifiable credentials are huge. Why is this huge? Okay, well, if Johnny Biffy Bob says, hey, yeah, um, I'm, I'm, I'm older than 21, uh, so yeah, I can uh, purchase this item when you have to be over 21 to purchase it. Well, how is that verifiable? Uh, well, because I said it is. Uh, well, I don't believe you. Well, you should, because I'm over 21. Um, well, do you have proof? Yeah, so you guys get the, get the concept. Get, <laughs> you guys understand. Or someone who's like, oh yeah, I can get this job because uh, um, I, I have a PhD. Uh, poor, helpless, and desperate, right? No, I'm just kidding, guys. <laughs> I, I'm not going to downplay people with a PhD, but uh, Robert Kiyosaki says that all the time. But you guys get the point. Verifiable credentials are important, and you can verify it on the blockchain. So same thing if you guys are like not understanding that. Well, let me put it in simple terms. Uh, verifiable that a, your Rolex is real. Okay, now you understand. Decentralized workflows. Participate in trustless collaboration, collaboration on a private network. So this is important, just like what Slack did. So Slack was allowing communications in a company without actually being like, hey, Johnny, in the office, bro, give me 10 copies of that. No, instead it was like on Slack, you can be like, bro, do this. And the dude's like millions of miles away. Awesome. No offense, Johnny. I just don't want to see your face. So guys, this is also what's awesome is they have an actual working product. Guys, it's not vaporware. Thank you. Guys, not just a promise. This is something that's delivered. I'll show you guys their um, roadmap as well, but inspection reports on blockchains. They got digital signatures on blockchains, notary uh, procedures on blockchain, Firm 21, which is a company, or Firm 24, I'm sorry, a company, legal contracts on blockchains, they got smart QR codes on blockchains. Guys, like for verifying if an item is real, like real cocoa beans or coffee. Um, artwork authenticity um, through VID. Um, hint, hint, that is going to be what the video is on. <laughs> um, but anyways, guys, stay tuned. You guys want to check it out. But look at this. IBM. Uh, well, that I didn't even go over the partnerships. But you guys can see all the different things that they're doing. It's game changer. Diamonds on the blockchain, guys. No one else is doing that. Who else is doing that? No one. Digital shareholder on the blockchain. No one else doing that. Certificates on blockchain. No one else doing that. Waste transport on the blockchain. I think there's someone else doing that. Yeah, it's LTO now. Bro, it's two in the morning. Did you smash up the like? I'm just kidding, guys. Back to the video. Let's go ahead and meet the team. Guys, this guy, super smart. This guy was, uh, I think he, he worked for PricewaterhouseCoopers um, as well as a couple of other companies, but the main one to remember is PricewaterhouseCoopers. So here it is, uh, co-founder and CEO, the LTO network, master's degree in tax law. He's, well, you guys can read it here. But anyways, he co-founded Firm24 and he also co-founded Legal Things and eventually went to LTO. LTO network, but this guy was at Pricewaterhouse Coopers. You don't know what it is? Pricewaterhouse Coopers is massive. Just go on Google and type PWC, and it'll, <laughs> you'll get filled in pretty quick. But guys, they got a really intelligent team. Um, you guys can see they've been in the crypto sphere. They they've been in like a tax industry and a um, I guess you can say a pencil pusher uh, place, and they found out the problems, and they're like, look. This is old and dated. We see what this is. This is great and awesome, but we can make it better. So they made it better. They made an LTO network. I mean, bro, look at these partnerships. These guys don't partner with people who are losers. You got CMS. It's a tax company and a law company. You got IBM. Massive. You got Dutch Blockchain. You got in a, I'm not sure what Inativa is, but either way, still massive. You got International Organization for Standard. You got Certex. So guys, these are um, these. This blockchain basically is audited. So great, awesome, and I'm sure Certex actually will be using the live. Con oh yeah, look, right here, live contract templates, like we showed you on 
like, I don't know, four minutes ago, if you weren't watching, how to use the um, live contract templates. You can actually enter inf information in. They're customizable. It's not like, oh yeah, this is what it is. You can't do anything else. Click button, boom, done. No, it's like you type your name, you customize it. Oh, you're getting a lease? All right, we're going to put your name on it. You ain't going to pay the rent? Yeah, we're going to rack up your bill on the credit history if you aren't going to pay the rent, and we're going to basically haunt you if you don't pay that bill. It's crazy. You can do that junk, and, it's, and it can be programmed in a name. Like, guys, if you're missing this, I don't know what else to tell you. By the way, guys, not financial advice. This is just my opinion on the project. I'm not telling you now is a good time to buy. All I'm telling you guys is this is a crazy project. They're doing a massive, massive thing. But if you look at their chart, they've been pumping like nuts and ham. So I'm not telling you guys to buy this right now. What I'm telling you guys, in, in fact, any of the projects I feature or talk about on my channel, it's not financial advice. It's just a project I'm looking at and my thoughts on the project. I'm not telling you when to buy. I don't do any price predictions. I don't care. I don't know what the price is going to be. I just invest in the long haul and I look at projects that I really like and bags that I want to hold and keep. If I don't want to hold and keep it, I'll tell you. I'll say, bro, this is a piece of junk. And if you join the Digi Squad, you can ask me and I'll be like, do you hold this? And I'll be like, yeah, no, that's a piece of junk. I explain my thoughts on the channel. I'll still feature some projects on my channel and I'll, and I'll tell you, hey, look, this is good. Hey, this is bad about it. Anyways, guys, um, you guys get the concept. You guys see the partnerships. We're going to do a quick summary on it. If you guys weren't paying attention at all, because I don't pay attention at all either. So I'm going to do a quick summary because I don't even remember what I said. I'm just kidding. I do. The LTO network is a hybrid blockchain platform. So it's a business to business functionalities that produce live contracts. Live contracts are huge, guys. I already explained how to use it. Here's a couple of the examples. They got Proofi, Philodoc, and Let's Flow. Play around with them. Go to the links. Check them out. Game changer. Have fun. So, LTO Network separates data sharing from network consensus and builds a decentralized public layer as well as a customizable private layer. Why is this massive? Well, it allows more decentralization. And it allows those companies who like to hold those things in-house. Like, for example, my company, if I was going to do lease agreements, I would like to have a customizable private layer that is yet able to be produced like a ZK Snark style where it's on the public.